Hey guys, today we're in the Apopka area showing you what you can get in the 400,000s. Stay tuned. All right guys, so welcome back again. My name is Andrew April with the Full Time Agent Network. I'm really excited to show you what you can get in the 400,000s here in Apopka, Florida. So in this home, we're at a, a Miranda inspired community. There are about 80 homes here in the area. Um, when you walk into, when you walk and see this home, you're immediately greeted by this beautiful curb appeal. And some friends of ours in the neighborhood actually showed us, or excuse me, let us know that this lawn actually won lawn of the year a few times. Um, you can kind of see the grass has been upgraded to St. Augustine grass, which is just a nice feature. And there are flower beds here on the outside of the property. And as you walk in, you're going to see this two guard garage and you have some area here. If you want to add some lawn chairs or some rocking chairs and just relax, you can see the American flag. So you can tell the wind is blowing, um, really nice for the hot Florida sun. It's actually pretty cold right now in Florida. Um, but just a real nice, peaceful area. If you can feel the ambiance over here. Now on the elevation, you see this stone. This stone is a really nice feature. It really just adds a, a nice little glamor or touch to the home. Um, and the current owners also gave you guys a fresh coat of paint around this stone here. So beautiful property all around. You've got completely, completely gated. Uh, you also have the gutters here. So your curb appeal is 10 out of 10. Um, and now let's get inside. Let's see what we got. Yeah, beautiful, just like I imagined. I'm glad to be back inside. I'm gonna take this jacket off. So this property, it's a 3-2. It's a 3-2 with a few extra flex spaces that are pretty nice. Um, as soon as you walk into the property, the first thing we have here, let's take a look at this. You got this office flex space and it's pretty elegant. Uh, Trey, I'm gonna close these and open these doors. Check this out beautiful entry and i love the see-through doors so you can have your privacy for the acoustics if you're in here working you can use this as an art studio overall a flex space so everyone um, who's always watching the channel you've seen plenty of these so i'm sure you have plenty of ideas on what you would do with your own so as we walk as we walk we get greeted into the great room which is beautiful so here you're going to get this open concept so you're going to get the great room the main living area, as well as the kitchen area, all in one open concept space. So let's start here with the kitchen area. Um, love these cabinets. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but these look like they're probably 42 inch. I like the molding uh, at the top. There are these espresso style cabinets um, over the granite countertops. So just a really mature look, a really mature look. You have these um, stainless steel appliances all throughout. The pantry is here right in the center of the kitchen. So anything you need to grab, you can come from the oven straight over to the sink and you've got what you need. Lovely island here. And if you look here in the island, you actually have more storage space here under the island, which is significant because sometimes you don't have that. So another lovely, nice feature here in the home. Let me take a quick note. Um, so 16.3 by 16, that's how large this great room is. That's how large this great room is. So plenty of space for you and the family, plenty of space for whatever it is that you need. Before going into the back and taking out the primary, let's see what happens right off of this flex space when we walk into this area. We're gonna get greeted by your two car garage. And just like the outside of the property, just like on the outside of the property, um, it's a little dark in here, but you got fresh coats of paint, a fresh coat of paint here in your two car garage. And if you're anything like me, anywhere you are, you're going to get a whole bunch of mail. This is a nice little area to put your mail or any little nice pieces that, that you get. I actually really like this area too. If you're anything like me, I like to cook and then just have stuff out to serve or just have like a little snack area. Some people might use this as their kind of mail area and set their information down here, but this is a nice, lovely little granite counter space here um, for some extra space. 
So before we actually get into the areas, I want to show you. So here we're in the great room where Tremaine is shooting from. This is where you're going to get two slash three rooms. You're going to get two bedrooms as well as the media room. And then all the way to the back of the property is where the primary is. So let's take a look at this area. So as you walk back, you have a small linen closet here and you have your bathroom. Yeah, take a look at that. Lovely, you still got a lovely spacious bathroom. And in this area, you get a multitude of things. So to my left, your right, you're gonna see one bedroom. On the other side, you're gonna get the other. Now they're situated slightly different. They have a slightly different layout, but the room sizes are effectively the same. 11.3 by 10 by 10.2. Um, so good space um, for any use really. Kids rooms, family rooms, brothers and sisters, whatever you have. Now I really like the middle of this space it's pretty cool, it's pretty unique. Um, you can use this as an area for in-laws to come and hang out. You can use this as, if you have young kids or if you have pets, um, this, can, this can somewhat be maybe a loft area or a game area. If you got friends or family or kids who wanna keep these rooms clean and just do most of the playing out here. And then you have this pass-through laundry room right here for your washer and dryer. So really unique space. I like the way they made this. And again, this room over here, similar to the other room, situated slightly different, um, but good, uh, good size closet, good natural lighting coming in, always important. And that's how we're sectioned off on this side of the home. So let's keep on taking a walk and see what the primary is like. Now, through the majority of this home, we've seen um, this beautiful color tile throughout the home. And in the two bedrooms, we saw a carpet. In this primary, right outside the primary, you're gonna get more space. In the primary, you're gonna have this vinyl. I really like this vinyl and I really like the mature look of it. You're gonna get these two massive windows letting in some natural light. You've got a nice, Nice, beautiful ceiling fan. And then you got this tray ceiling with the indented lights. Very nice, very nice. Uh, to my left, you're gonna get a walk-in closet, uh, a feature that all of us want, all of us pretty much need at this point. And it's really nicely situated, right? Storage to my left, storage to my right, storage right behind me and storage up top. And now let's check out the primary bathroom and this primary bathroom tons of night lighting i really like this i really like the garden tub here and how we have natural light coming over it you have a dual vanity and you have a stand up a stand up shower so you have both options you have both options which is always always nice real significant here you have the floor tile going all the way up to the ceiling which is a very nice highlight here in the home as well and then you have your extra door so you have a private uh, private uh, restroom when you do need to do that. <laughs> you all right there, Trey? So again, so right off, right off of this primary, I'll cut that. Yeah, so nice sliding door there. And so right outside of the primary room, you're going to be able to walk out into this screened in covered lanai, which is really nice. Um, I really like this feature. This is a gorgeous ceiling fan. If you want to take a look at that gorgeous ceiling fan. And you can tell that the uh, previous owners of this home or current owners enjoyed their time out here. I love the lights. It's probably a really, really nice vibe. Um, but this screened in area is significant because if you are living in Florida now or if you're from Florida, you know, we get those mosquitoes. You know how it is. So. And then when you walk out, you also, you also have some grass area. So if you have any pets or you're just someone who likes to be outside, similar to me, 
might be a past football guy or soccer guy. It's just a real nice thing to have. I like the elevation here as well. And you can see you're, you've got gate all around you. So you have that privacy that you're looking for. And you also have this uh, these bricks here on the outside as well, Trey, if you wanna take a look at these bricks. So you have, so you can enjoy some time in the grass, but you've got a hard surface down below as well. And in real estate, you kind of never know what you're gonna get. Sometimes things convey, sometimes they don't. But whoever comes and has this house, this is actually gonna stay. So you're gonna get some extra storage. So rather than having to go out and potentially get a storage unit if you need it, if you're coming from a Chicago, a New York, a California, um, you've got some storage at least in the, in the interim until you decide you may need more. So yeah, let's head back inside. Yeah, this is this has been a really nice property. Um, so we're finished up with the inside. We're just gonna head outside and, and finish up. All right, back to the cold. I should have brought my jacket. Um, hey man, should have brought my jacket. Um, but yes, welcome again. Welcome back. We're in Apopka, Florida. This is what you're gonna get in the mid four hundred thousand. So. Let us know what you think. Did you expect a little more, a little less? Would you come move to Apopka? Do you want to learn more about the area? Just let us know. Um, we're down to make more and more videos, whatever you guys need. So thank you again. Um, see you on the next one.